This award does go to all of the wonderful April Fool's jokes that happen in the entertainment industry, but the one company that I want to highlight, and they don't get the award, April Fool's does, but the one company that I want to highlight that just killed it was Nintendo. And if you you don't know what year it is, well, maybe you have dementia. Well, that's inappropriate. Or you, you've been locked away in some capsule, and you don't realize that the month is April. And that Monday was April Fool's. Now, I used to be a big proponent of April Fool's myself. I've done the occasional, hey, I'm dying, um, you know, that, <laughs> that sort of stuff. That old chestnut. <laughs> You know what? It's it's gotten some pretty good laughs from myself. I I me April Fools. My biggest thing was telling my brother that he was adopted because he was born on April Fool's Day. So no way. He was born on April Fools. He just had a birthday. He also just got engaged last night. So shout out to John Evans and uh, give him a congrats if you want to start following him. There was other April Fools jokes going on, weren't there, Aza? Yes, there were. There were so many, and we are going to be here all day long if we go over all of them so <laughs> we love nintendo here at borderline entertainment we've talked about their directs you know it's the little showcase thing that they do and they just pop them up and they say hey we're gonna do this thing and then they do it it's really quick easy and over with sometimes they they make an announcement the day before they're gonna do it and it's really exciting they're no stranger to doing things to the beat of their own drum well on april 1st they're like hey we've got a direct happening today and for some reason, nobody picked up on the fact that this is going to be an April Fool's joke because all of the branding was on point. It seemed like this was really going to happen. And then the direct legitimately started to happen. I mean, it had everything. It had the snaps and all the, but it was a slow burn. So it started off with an announcement that like uh, Ocarina of Time remastered is coming to Switch. And then um legend of zelda the wind waker is coming to switch so it was just like okay okay this is great and it's believable and they just lean into it and they keep going <laughs> and they just give you little things over and over and over again but then it starts getting weird because usually when they go from segment to segment they're doing like one snap and then they'll talk and then another snap well the snaps start getting quicker and then you start getting some bold bold announcement there's going to be a, a halo edition of the switch um one was fallout 2016 election instead of addition uh my favorite one was grandfather bath simulator x steam edition i'm bummed Love it. we didn't come up with the joke yeah that's okay well congratulations again to april fools april fools nice job april fools you get the banana of the week boom that's right let's, if you want to connect with us like, we would love to connect with you. Please go to Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Search Borderline Entertainment. Give us a follow, a like, a subscribe to our YouTube channel and our Twitch channel. There's something for everybody. So please consider being a part of the community today. We appreciate it greatly.